good morning students in this session we are we would like to discuss regarding the vector atom model quantization of space and the electron spin so in the last session uh, we have discussed that uh, electrons not only revolve in the circular orbits but also in elliptical orbits according to both bohr's as well as a summer summer field relativistic model and there are different orbits for the same principle quantum number we can have circular as well as elliptical orbits next after learning this session uh, we will come to know that there is a new model proposed with the two new concepts and the orientation of electron orbit is quantized and electron spin is also quantized and there will be an interaction between spin and orbital angular momentum of an electron the prerequisites for this session are we should have the knowledge of bohr's circular orbit summer fields elliptical orbit fine structure of spectral lines and quantization of momentum okay dear students now we will start with the discussion of vector atom model so to overcome all the objections a new model known as vector atom model was developed the main contributors of this model are bohr summerfield alan beck gauss smith pauli stern and glack so lot of contributions are there from all these people uh, which finally gave a successful model which can explain all the phenomena uh, which uh, which are newly discovered there are two concepts which makes this model different from other models they are spatial quantization or quantization of direction and the electron spin now let us discuss uh, these two concepts in detail in our further slides in this slide i am going to discuss about the spatial quantization so spatial quantization is nothing but the space which is available around the nucleus here here you can see that the nucleus is nothing but a composition of protons as well as neutrons which are compactly packed here and it is assumed to be situated at the center of an atom and around this nucleus in different orbits the electron are processing around are processing and here you can see that we are also uh, we are also having circular as well as elliptical orbits where the electron is revolving around the nucleus and it is very interesting to note here that there will be no collision between any two electrons while processing ara around the atom according to summerfield two quantum numbers nr and n5 are sufficient to describe the motion of an electron in its orbit generally motion of an electron in an atom is three dimensional and therefore possesses three degrees of freedom according to classical mechanics electron can have all possible orientations with respect to a fixed axis in vector atom model these orbits are assumed to be quantized in magnitude and direction both hence one more quantum number quantum quantum number is required to describe the actual state of affairs and it is denoted as theta it is nothing but the angle between the field direction and the direction which is perpendicular to the plane of the orbit spatial quantization makes the orbit vector quantized hence the electron orbits cannot have all possible angles instead they can have only certain discrete positions with respect to the field directions is it clear second one is electron spin spectra of alkali atoms showed that many spectral lines found to consist of group of lines arranged very close to each other in order to explain this alan beck and gauss smith put forward their famous hypothesis known as electron spin according to the hypothesis the electron revolves not only in an orbit around the nucleus but also about its own axis thus the electron has two types of motion namely orbital motion as well as spin motion according to quantum theory spin Uh, the spin motion like orbital motion should also be quantized hence a new quantum number known as spin quantum number is introduced according to spatial quantization both orbital and spin motions are quantized in magnitude as well as in directions therefore the name of the model is given as vector atom model where the both the factors that is space quantization as well as the direction electron spin 
are uh, both are a vector quantities and the name of the model is given as vector eta model a charged body revolving about an axis gives rise to a magnetic moment hence the magnetic moment of an atom is a resultant of magnetic moment due to orbital as well as a spin motion the postulates of vector atom model have been experimentally verified by stern and glar hence the vector atom model was accepted along with this vector atom model we uh, we also come across that there will be an interaction between spin as well as orbital angular momentum due to which there will be a splitting up of spectral line into number of components was further observed so from the above discussion it is clear that each electron possesses both orbital as well as spin angular momentum hence while calculating the total angular momentum of an atom uh, we used to add vectorially the individual orbital as well as spin angular momentum or individual total angular momentum of the electron so the possible interaction between uh, spin and orbit are two namely ls coupling as well as a jj coupling the splitting up of spectral lines like like we used to see in case of zeeman and stark effect is especially due to the interaction between the orbital as well as a spin angular momentum so spin uh, from, so spin orbit interaction is responsible for the spectral lines to be splitted into a number of components thank you students